Hello, um, I'm Detective Leos, the Pasco Sheriff's Office. Hey guys, it's Benicia, the Community Outreach Specialist for the Pasco Sheriff's Office, and I just realized while I'm editing this video of Detective Leos and Therapy K9 Charlie that I don't have an intro, and I lost all of my B-roll footage of them playing together. So just to let you guys know, it's a quick short video with our detective explaining a little bit about his role and Charlie's role and how they can help the community, themselves, the agency, all of us that get to interact with them. So stay tuned, learn a thing or two, and uh, make sure you welcome them with open arms. I've been with the agency for about six years, a little over six years now. Um, this is my new partner, canine, it's an animal assisted, therapy dog canine Charlie. Mm -hmm. He is uh, a year old. He came from a program from Brevard County Sheriff's Office, program called Paws and Stripes, mm -hmm. which they uh, train and repurpose dogs that were taken into the shelter to be either therapy dogs for programs like such as ours with the Be Hit unit, which I'll explain later, um, or for military veterans with PTSD. Um, I love that. I love it. So tell us what, what does BHIT stand for? I don't so, think I've ever done a video on so it. So BHIT stands for Behavioral Health Intervention Team. That's a, that's a mouthful. Yeah, it's a lot. So add in the animal assisted care, mm -hmm. the therapy dog canine into it in the mix. It's just, it's, it's pretty, pretty long. <laughs> it's um, a long title. What, how, so what's Charlie's role and your role with b -Hit? So my my role prior to getting Charlie mm -hmm. was uh, focusing on those high utilizers uh, with mental illness, um, getting them referrals, getting them services, because a lot of the times uh, they don't know what to do. Once they're in a the crisis, they don't know what else to do. Um, so we we get in, make contact, get in touch with them, get them familiarized with law enforcement, saying, "Hey, we're here to help. We're not here just to make arrests." We're here to help you. We want to help and make a positive impact to the community and make you have a fulfilling uh, life going forward. I absolutely love that. So now that Charlie's coming to the mix, has that, any of that changed or does it increase or just does it help? Does Charlie help what you're able to do when you're out in the community? So we haven't started uh, deploying yet to the community. We've been going around okay. uh, our administration, our several departments throughout the agency saying hi to us yep yep going to dispatch mm -hmm. child protective they investigations mm -hmm. dispatch was a big hit um, but once we get focused in and get get established we'll be focusing on children with in crisis okay. uh continuing on with our case file subjects mm -hmm. with the with the b hit unit mm -hmm. um military veterans mm -hmm. in crisis and also uh Possibly getting in, getting in with the SISM team, which is a crisis intervention stress manager team, uh, oh. to help out with deputies on scene of involved shootings, drowning, child drownings, something that really affects the deputies. Exactly, their emotional, I, mental well-being. Correct. Right? Okay. So go out there and console them, mm -hmm. um, give them a some time to re to re, get a reframe of mind. Yeah. Get them, give mm -hmm. them comfort to know that it's to zone it out for exactly a exactly um, so i love it so charlie is for you as well you guys are for the community but also here to help the aftermath of agency members too when they when we also encounter something that's traumatic yes yes I love that. yes so he's he's gonna be an all-around guy uh he's willing to work he's he's proven that to me He's such, he's a sweetheart. He's, and you guys will see some clips that I'll insert somewhere in this video, or you should have already seen some clips now of just how sweet Charlie actually is. So you guys did all of your training with Brevard County Sheriff's Office. Is there any sort of, now Charlie's not a, like a, like a, a bite canine no. or a drug canine, but will you be doing any training with our uh, canine trainers? So we were, we are going to continue in, our training with obedience training. Okay, okay. Because uh, behaviors and stuff. Gotcha. Yes. Yeah, so, at Brevard County, the Paws and Stripes program, they inmates train these the dogs. That's incredible. And it's an eight week program, mm -hmm. obedience training. Mm -hmm. um, to go on field trips, get them exposed to churches, schools, uh, 
people of all ages, like young people, and yep. old, elderly. Get them exposed to mm -hmm. it. Um, get them familiarized that, mm -hmm. to go out, be out in the public. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, when I, we're going to continue our training through with the canine mm -hmm. unit, with obedience mostly. I love that. You're doing that with Corporal Rux. Uh, Corporal yeah. Rux, yeah. Mm -hmm. TYD, yeah. trust your dog. Yes. I love it. Yeah. Okay, so this is basically your intro to youtube and social media yeah. and welcome but i'm sure we will be seeing so much more of you guys now i know charlie's like let's go dad i need to go give some love and cuddles but is there anything else that you would want the community to know about what you and charlie are bringing to the table or anything that you know we're missing and not hit granted um anything else uh no we're me and charlie are get we're happy mm -hmm. we're, we're an awesome we're an awesome it's an awesome partnership. Only to begin been together for a week, but it, we bonded. <laughs> it's the start of a lifetime. It's a it's a start, and I'm happy to have him, and I believe he's happy to have me as his handler, and looking to go out there to the community and help out as much as we can. You guys are gonna do some incredible things. I yeah. know that for sure. <laughs>